does one always have to make intentions regarding when you're about to fast? And secondly, the timing of the intentions. Can you just say something a little bit about that? I find the intention is concerned, as I mentioned earlier, that intention is a fard. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sunan Nisai, Book of Fasting, Hadith number 2331, our beloved Prophet said, a person fast not accepted if he does not make intention in the previous night. That means for all the fard fasting, compulsory fasting, making intention the previous night is compulsory. It can be any part of the previous night. It can even be till as late as just before the Fajr time. Any time of the night you can make intention. A person can make an intention in the beginning of Ramadan and it can be valid for the full month of Ramadan. Unless he breaks it if he's sick or if he's traveling, then he has to again make an intention. But one intention is also sufficient. And many people think, they have a misconception, that verbally saying it aloud is a must, which is not a requirement. I don't have to say verbally that I intend to fast. Because my intention is a niya from the heart. For example, if I get up late in the night, much before Fajr time, or fasting, suppose my son, when we have got up to do a suhur late in the night, and my son asks me that, why have you got up? I will tell him, because we have to fast. It's already understood. The niya is there. I don't have to say that I have got up to fast. Mm -hmm. The niya is there. So niya is important, niya is in the heart. You don't have to say it with your tongue. That's what most of the people think. And I don't know of any hadith which says that the Prophet or the Sahaba has ever said loudly that I intend to fast. Intention is in the heart. And one intention is sufficient for the full month of Ramadan, unless, as I said, it's broken. But this is only for the fard fast. For a voluntary fast, fast which is not a fard fast, intention is not a fard because there's a hadith again mentioned in Sunan Nisai, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2323. One is the prophet, he tells his wife that, I want food to eat. And the wife said that there's no food to eat. So he said, okay, I'm fasting. That means his intention was not there before, in the previous night. He made it on the spot. He abstained from before dawn, but his intention was afterwards, in the morning. So for the voluntary fast, it's not compulsive to be made early the previous night, except if it's a very important voluntary fast like the Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, Ashura, or it can be the day of Arafat. It's preferable to make intention before, because that's a very important fast. For all the other voluntary fast, it's not compulsory to be made before previous night. For the Niyah, there are other three things which are very important. One thing, if it's by force, and if something is broken, then it can be forgiven, or by error, or by forgetfulness. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 106, that after a person has believed, then if he does something of unbelief, does something of kufr, except by force, that means if he does by force, even kufr, or shirk, Allah will forgive. So if someone forces a person to break the fast, his niyah was in there, he can be forgiven. And Allah says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 286, that, O oh Lord, please do not catch us. Please do not hold us responsible. When we err, when we make a mistake, or when we forget. So if a person in his forgetfulness breaks his fast like has water, Allah will forgive him. Or if because of a mistake, Allah will forgive him.